Hello everyone. Hope you all are doing well. Today I'm going to show how to implement SS4. So users can log in into service now instance with AD credentials. Let's see. Let's see how SS4 works. For example, if you enter the instance URL and try to log in, so it will automatically redirect to ADFS page where it asks for credentials, AD credentials like email address. Okay. For example, if you choose the email address, uh, this is my customized email address, so it looks like this. And click on next. And then it will ask for the password, enter the password, and sign in. So it will automatically sign into your instance. This is how uh, S4 works. For example, if you log in uh, to any, uh, for example, if you log in to any company website and then you try to open the instance, then it will automatically redirect. It will automatically log in to your instance without asking the credential. That is how a uh, single file on works. Okay, now let's see how to implement SS4 from the scratch. Okay, uh, in this instance, we already configured. So I will try to implement the SS4 from the scratch in other instance. Okay, let's see. I have logged into other instance. Let's see how can we implement SS4 in this instance. Okay, to implement SS4, we need uh, we need to install plugin. Okay, for the SS4 plugin, go to the plugins list. Plugins. So the basic uh, plugins we require is a single sign-on plugin. We need to enable it. Let's see how to enable the plugin. Once plugins list is loaded, type SS4. Okay, in the plugins list, so there is a uh, there is a plugin called Integration Multi Provider Single Sign On Installer. Okay, single sign on SS4. So we need to install this plugin to implement SS4 integration. Okay. So click on install. Load demo data. If you need, you can load the demo data, or if not, you cannot. That's up to you. Okay. So generally, we do not load demo data in the customer instance. So click on activate. Let's wait for a few minutes uh, to get it installed. So after the plugin is installed, you can go to, uh, you can refresh your instance, okay? Refresh the instance and type SS4 in the filter navigator. Under SS4, you can you find the identity provider, okay? Click on Identity Providers. You need to create a new identity provider to implement SS4. Okay. Um, now click on New. Okay. What kind of SS4 are you trying to create? So we are trying to create a SAML. Okay. Click on SAML. Now here you need to provide all the details. Okay. So import identity provider metadata. So it will automatically populate this form. Okay. So um, you can get these details from your AD team. Okay. So you need to ask AD team to give the metadata. Okay. Uh, metadata uh, so that you can import the metadata directly by using entering the URL or XML. Okay. They can provide you either in XML or URL. Okay, ask your editing. So once you import it, then uh, all these fields, like all these fields automatically filled. Okay, so now uh, we don't have editing right now. Uh, so now what we will do is um, I have Azure account, Microsoft um, 
uh, Azure AD account so that we can configure our own SS4 and take the metadata and import the metadata in the service now. Let's see how it is done, okay? So we log into Azure portal, okay? Uh, click on Active Directory, Azure Active Directory, okay? So in the enterprise applications, so there are already two service now applications up there. Now we will create another uh, service now application for our uh, instance. Let's create a new application. Okay, new application. Which application you need to select? Service now. Okay, uh, service now application. Click on service now. What what will be the name? Okay, name we will give our instance. Okay like uh, dev uh, one two eight okay this uh, we will give our name okay iphone service valentine this is a service now okay create it once you create an uh, service now application okay once you create a service now enterprise application so uh, you get all the details like application id object id everything you can set up a single sign on for this um, application okay click on uh, get started okay so which one you want you want saml okay click on saml now um, you need to fill all these details Okay, for basic uh, SML configurations. Okay, so you can, uh, if you don't know how to fill these results, you can click on configuration guide. Okay, now what what details you need to provide, or you can upload a metadata file. Okay, from the service now instance. How? How can we provide a metadata file without creating identity provider side? Right? So we can uh, cancel it. Okay. Uh, give a name anything like uh, uh, test. Okay, something like that. Identity URLs like test and uh, test something like that. And uh, give your instance details in dev uh, something. Give the instance details, copy the instance name, paste in the under the your instance. Okay, copy, paste it. Okay, and save it. Save it. Now you can click on generate metadata. Okay, click on generate metadata. So copy this metadata copy this metadata and go to the Azure portal. Okay, upload metadata file here. Okay, you can upload metadata file and I think you need to save this file. So uh, I'm saving this uh, metadata into uh, S4 XML file. Okay, uh, let me save it. Save. I save on the desktop, okay? SS4 XML file. Now, now select the SS4 file, okay, from the desktop. Uh, that is uh, not in perfect XML, so uh, select the SS4 file. This is a text file, okay, add it. And um, the file is successfully imported. You can see all the instances, details, game, everything is game. Okay. So single uh, sign-on URL you need to provide here. Okay. Uh, sign-on URL is same like this. Copy this one. Okay. Uh, copy the whole thing and based on the sign on URL. Okay, that's it. And save it. So save single sign on configuration is done. Okay. Uh, no, I will test later. Click on I will test later. Go to down. 
and here you get a federation metadata URL or you can download the XML also. Okay, now I will copy this URL and go to my instance. Import IDP metadata, okay, and I got the uh, URL, so click on import. Okay, so everything is automatically loaded. Login URL, everything is automatically automatically loaded. Everything is loaded like uh, user provisioning, okay, uh, advanced. All these uh, fields are automatically loaded. Okay, uh, so in the name. Uh, you can change it like um, uh, FS4 or uh, dev or something like that. Okay, FS4 dev or something like that and save it. Unsave it. So you cannot activate it uh, until uh, you need, you cannot activate or you cannot set the, uh, you, you cannot activate it. Okay, so to activate, you need to test connection first. Once the test connection is successful, then you can activate it. Okay, so to test the connection, you need one user account. Okay, you need one user account, and that user account should be in your user's uh, table. Okay, user's table. Let's see. Uh, so, so which user do you want to test? Okay, so in the uh, Azure portal, go to the users and the groups. Okay, so there are no users assigned to this particular application. We need to click on add our user group. Okay, no one is selected. Okay, click on none selected. Okay, I already have like uh, this user. Okay, uh, click on this one. Okay, and select and assign. So Oh, uh, this user is uh, selected. Okay, check the you uh, user's uh, details. Okay, you need to check the user principal name. Okay, you need to copy this. This is the by default it came like long, and in you are Azure you have uh, different different uh, email addresses. Okay, so this copy this um, this is the email or uh, this is the UPN email. Okay, so now what I will do is. Uh, I will go to my profile and update email with the email which I provided, okay? So save it. Okay, now go back to again, uh, SS4 identity providers, SS4 dev, click on test connection. And in with the email, which I have updated the email address. Okay. Next. Password. Password, which I already saved. Okay. Sign, Sign in. Sign in. So uh, you got the SS4 test connection summary. Test connection is successful. Okay, now you can activate it from here. Okay, activate the SS4. And if you have multiple uh, uh, identity providers, you can set uh, yes default also this one. Okay, and save it. And save it. Okay, and you can set uh, as an auto redirect IDP also. Okay, whenever there is a continuous login, it will redirect. After activating, we need to enable the SS4 so that whenever the user tries to log in, so it will redirect to ADFS page. Let's see how to enable the SS4. Okay, go to SS4. Under SS4, you have properties. Okay, click on the property. Here, we need to enable multiple provider SS4. Okay, this is the property we need to enable so that uh, the SS4, whenever the users try to log in, then it will uh, redirect to ADFS page. Okay, if not, it will not, uh, it will ask normal credentials. Okay, uh, let's test it. Okay, 
okay i'll copy this url url open the incognito window and log in so you should redirect to adfs page yes it is redirecting to adfs page so now user will enter his email click on list password you can sign in yes and now user logged into it with an instance okay so that is how we need to implement ss4 so in upcoming videos we will see like uh, for example if user is having any role it will redirect to iit view if user is not having any roles it should redirect to a uh, portal view so how to configure it so in upcoming ways we will please do subscribe to get alerts for upcoming videos hope you will enjoy and learn service now thank you very much for your time